Phoebe Ann Moses, born in Ohio, adopted the stage name Annie Oakley when she began performing as a professional sharpshooter. Her incredible skill with a firearm was first revealed when she was just 15 years old and challenged a renowned traveling marksman named Frank Butler in a shooting competition. To everyone's surprise, she hit more targets than he did and won the contest. In the year 1882, a stagecoach arrives in the town of Tombstone in the state of Arizona, United States of America. The town, which emerged in 1879 as a silver mining center, became famous for being the scene of various violent confrontations between local authorities and criminals operating in the region. One of the most well-known episodes was the shootout at the OK Corral. Bass Reeves was born in 1838 in the state of Arkansas, United States, where he was enslaved by a politician named William Steele Reeves. During the American Civil War, he escaped to the Indian Territory, which now corresponds to the states of Kansas and Oklahoma, and learned to live among the Native American tribes. In 1875, he was recruited as one of the first federal marshals in the United States. Billy the Kid was one of the most prominent outlaws in the history of the Old West. He came from the poor and violent slums where Irish immigrants lived in New York City and headed west in search of adventure and fame. There, he got involved in various legal troubles. Billy the Kid also participated in an armed conflict in New Mexico, known as the Lincoln County War. At just 17 years old, Jesse James left his hometown of Missouri to fight in the Civil War as a Confederate guerrilla. After the conflict, he returned to Missouri, where he led one of the most infamous outlaw gangs of the time. Although the Eastern media portrayed him as a contemporary Robin Hood, there are no records confirming that he shared the proceeds of his robberies with people outside his criminal circle. Outlaw Belle Starr, known for her criminal exploits, was captured in 1886 by U.S. Deputy Marshal Charles Barnhill, pictured on the right in the image. Her story gained widespread notoriety at the time through the National Police Gazette, which proclaimed her the Queen of Bandits. In the late 1860s, a team of railroad workers erected a bridge over the Green River in the homonymous valley in the state of Wyoming. The bridge was part of the Union Pacific Railroad, connecting the eastern and western United States. In the background, an impressive basalt rock formation called Citadel Rock could be seen, rising from the riverbank like a natural fortress. This image, captured in 1893 by the Pinkerton Detective Agency, shows Laura Bullion, a member of Butch Cassidy's Wild Bunch gang in the 1890s. She participated in the famous Great Northern Train Robbery, which resulted in her conviction and a five-year prison sentence in 1901. After being released, Laura attempted an honest life in Memphis, Tennessee, working as a seamstress and interior designer, but was unsuccessful. Around 1870, this photograph depicts an impressive pile of bison skulls, a direct result of the United States Army's policies during its efforts to suppress indigenous tribes in the American West. Recognizing the importance of bison as an essential source of food and a central element of community life for these tribes, the Army promoted widespread and extensive hunting of these animals. Captured in 1903, this image shows an African-American sheriff on horseback in Pocatello, Idaho. It is a representative portrait of a reality that is often forgotten. About a quarter of cowboys in the Old West were black, but their stories are often overshadowed by the narratives of white settlers. After the Civil War, the cowboy profession was one of the few available job options for black men. In the aftermath of the Civil War, many former slaves migrated to the American West. They sought to escape the oppressive past and create a more promising future in lands where the deep-seated prejudices of the East had less influence on their lives. Calamity Jane, an iconic figure of the Old West, stood out both for her generosity and her boldness. Known for her battles against invaders from various indigenous tribes, she was also a friend of Wild Bill Hickok. There are rumors that they may have been married, but the stories are inconsistent. The image portrays an anonymous miner in California, dated 1881. This period followed the famous gold rush of 1849, which unfortunately led to the bankruptcy of many. However, a new discovery emerged when a group of miners found silver in the mountains, referring to it with the peculiar description of calico color. This discovery led to the creation of a mine in Calico, California, which soon became a prominent silver supplier in the state during the 1880s. John Smith, known by his native name Kabe Nagui Wens, which translates to wrinkled meat, 
was a member of the Chippewa tribe from Cass Lake, Minnesota. He is believed to have been between 132 and 138 years old at the time of his death, but it is more likely that he was less than 100 years old when he died of pneumonia in 1922. During the height of westward expansion in the United States in the mid to late 19th century, it was common to see covered wagon caravans. These were used by pioneers to transport their families and belongings across the vast unknown lands. Native Americans and immigrants saw the untamed West as an opportunity to establish a new life and put down roots. In the year 1902, in the American state of Kansas, a man working as a cowboy was tending to a large herd of cattle roaming the fields. Meanwhile, he held a long, flexible rope in his hands, which he skillfully twisted and coiled into a loop, ready to throw it over any animal that strayed from the group or needed to be captured. Geronimo, a notable Apache leader born in 1829 and deceased in 1909, fiercely resisted the military forces of the United States and Mexico in the border areas during the second half of the 19th century. Despite being captured multiple times, it was his final surrender in 1886 that turned him into a prisoner of war of the United States for the rest of his life. This is a photograph of a man working in gold mining in California, but his name is unknown. The image was captured around 1851, three years after the start of the gold rush, a historic phenomenon that attracted thousands of people to the region in search of wealth and opportunities. This movement had a significant impact on the transformation of California and other areas in the western United States. This is a historic image of Robert Leroy Parker, better known by his nickname Butch Cassidy. He was one of the most notorious criminals of the American Old West, the leader of a gang called the Wild Bunch, which committed bank and train robberies. The photo was taken in 1894 when he was 28 years old and already a fugitive from justice. Chinese immigrant workers who settled in the American West played a crucial role in the expansion of industry in the region. However, this led to tensions and racial prejudices among local white settlers. As a consequence, the United States implemented its first significant immigration laws, primarily aimed at limiting the arrival of more people from Asia. Joe Black Fox was a Sioux tribe chief who participated in Buffalo Bill's traveling show, known as the Wild West Show. He traveled across the United States and Europe alongside other Native Americans, cowboys, cowgirls, and wild animals, reenacting scenes from the Old West. Joe Black Fox was portrayed by various artists like John Hauser and Gertrude Casebeer, who depicted different aspects of his personality and culture. In the Old West, the practice of prostitution was as common as in other places of the same era. However, the more liberal and lawless frontier atmosphere allowed several prostitutes to go beyond their traditional roles, even managing and owning their own brothel establishments. Roy Bean, known as the Law West of the Pecos, administered his court in a peculiar manner, conducting it directly from his desert bar in southwest Texas. Characterized by his eccentricity, Bean gained fame and often appears in movies, TV series, and books as the Hanging Judge. Despite this reputation, he actually sentenced only two men to death, one of whom managed to escape before the execution. The Klondike Dance and Bar Hall, erected in Seattle, Washington, for the Alaska-Yukon Pacific Exposition in 1909, faced a temporary closure. The reason? It was deemed excessively authentic in its representation. On April 22, 1889, at high noon, the Oklahoma land run began. Approximately 50,000 people rushed to claim 2 million acres of unallocated land in Oklahoma. These lands were divided into lots of up to 160 acres. Settlers had the opportunity to claim a lot for free, with the condition that they reside on and develop the claimed land.